Hey everyone, how y'all doing today? So in this video, I'm gonna be talking about DIY, which is do-it-yourself home security systems. But gone are the days where you have to sign a contract with a company and have an installer comes out and install the stuff and make sure it's working on all that. Now we have companies that come up with these products that you can install yourself and they will still do the professional monitoring if you choose so. So when I got my place, that's the route I took. I decided to do a DIY alarm system because I figure it shouldn't be that hard to install. Now in the beginning, when I went out to research and find out what's available out there as far as these alarm system to see which one I can do myself and install. And I was looking for something that was real robust. So I'm gonna show you the systems that's available right now, including the ones that I found in the beginning and the one I end up choosing at the end. The price you're gonna see in the video is probably not the price you're gonna see when you purchase it. It might be more, it might be less. So let's start off with Ring. Of course, you know Ring is the company that makes that doorbell camera so you can see who's at your door when the doorbell rings. They went off and decided to do a home security system also. Now the basic package comes with one motion, one keypad, one range extender, the control unit, and a door sensor slash window sensor. So if you need more, you just have to purchase them a la carte. But you can also get other packages. So if you scroll down to the bottom of the screen right here, you'll see that they have different security kits. You got a five piece set, just like the one I just mentioned. You got a 10 piece set where you get one more motion and some more door slash window sensor. And then you got a 14 piece set and they increase the sensors as far as the door and windows. And you also get two control panels, keypad panels that is. So Ring also comes with an app. So you, there's an app on your phone where you can arm, disarm, you can see what's going on if you include the cameras because they also have the option of adding the security cameras. And those cameras are available separately. You got the stick up cam and they got the other security cam that has lights on them. So they shine lights on the outside. If somebody walk up to, for instance, your door or your garage or in the back. So you can tie those cameras into your security system also. Like I said, these systems are designed for you to do it yourself. Like this one says it install in minutes. You don't need any tools because the reason why you don't need any tool, these things have, you know, two sided tapes. So you can stick them to the wall, stick them to the door and the trim and make sure they get in place. The app is going to walk you through step by step on how to actually connect them to the control unit. So it's very simple. Anybody can do it. All you got to do is follow the instructions. Of course, you know, you go with your ADT and your brinks and all of that, you get that professional monitoring. So you're not being left out if you go with one of these systems because they also offer 24 hours, seven days a week, professional monitoring. A lot of these systems I'm mentioning here, they offer no long-term contract. There's no canceling free. And some of them you can actually monitor yourself where you don't have to do any professional monitoring unless you really want to. It's optional. So you can do monitoring for a month or you can just cut it off and then you can start it for another month. That's how flexible these plans are. So that's Ring. Now let's move on to the next one. And the next one is made by Simply Safe. Now here's another company that offer another DIY system. It's pretty simple to install. Like I said, you follow the instruction. It's no different from the ring, step by step. You place the sensors, you place the motion, you set up the unit, you connect it to the internet, and it'll be all good and set up when you're done. And the only real difference between these systems is how much it costs a month to monitor and also the package of what they actually offer. So with the simple safe, you're gonna get a whole different package compared to what rings offer you. But they also have it where you can add individual parts to them. So if you need another sensor, or you need another motion, or you need another key panel, all that stuff you can add on later. But you're trying to get the best package to start off with. So you have to count up how much doors and windows you wanna cover, what areas you wanna cover as far as the motion, and stuff like that. You know, if you have a two story, you might want to have a key panel upstairs and a key panel downstairs. So a lot of that stuff you have to think about going in. But you can still start off with the basic system and then build on it, if you know what I mean. So on Simply Save, their package, they have a system where you can build your own. 
you know so you can start off and just pick parts so the first package after the builder package on the simpler slave is called the haven and let's get into the details of what you get in this package so you get one base station you get one keypad and it comes in two different colors. you can get it in black or white so they give you an option right there you get a key fob and I'm gonna tell you something about the key fob that you need to think about when you're going into these systems I'll let you know you got four sensors which you can use on the doors or the windows you got two motion you got a extra siren so you can have the base unit have its own siren built in but you can have an extra run in another part of the house so that extra siren would create more noise to either scare off the burglar or let the neighbors know that you've been robbed it comes with one panic button it comes with a free sensor and it also comes with a water sensor and a smoke detector now the water sensor is a good thing to have because you never know when your washer is going to leak even your dishwasher or the bathroom or the hot water tank and then you have a free sensor now you can use your free sensor anywhere that you feel like it needs to be used I don't know if this package might be good for you yay nay but you can look at it and see what works for you in that package each one of these package got more or less of what you need so you can start off with the basic package like I said or you can just go all out but that's simply safe so these two systems so far I can recommend if you go with the ring that's up to you it'll work I've dealt with it I've installed it in a couple clients house so I know it works the simpler safe works just as good nothing wrong with that I've seen some YouTube video on it some people say they like it some people say they don't but you know what all of these security systems are for your peace of mind so as long as they work you know some of them gonna have more features some of them gonna have less features than what you're looking for that's why there are options but going with one or going with the other either one you go with you're still gonna have some type of peace of mind because they all gonna do the job and simply save also have professional monitoring so you don't have to worry about that either you know you can go with a professional monitor or you can monitor yourself it's up to you how you want to do it okay so next up after simply save we got Ness and their system is very basic I mean you got the control unit you got a motion and door sensor all in one then you got the key fob I don't know this system like I said is not too much to it it's very basic of course it comes with an app oh I forgot to mention that simply safe also comes with an app so if I don't mention it just think that they all come with an app but I'll try to mention it from now on so ring comes with an app Simply Safe comes with an app and Nest came with an app. So you can all control them remotely even when you're not at home. Now Nest is a little bit more expensive than the other three. Starting off, it's at top level price. But you're getting all of it all in one package. There's not much to it. You know, you're not getting any water sensors or stuff like that. And like I said, the system is very basic. They actually pack a whole bunch of stuff in one sensor. So the Nesta Tech is a sensor that has door, window, and room sensor all built into one. Now I'm assuming room sensor mean motion. The control unit that's actually called the Nest Guard is their alarm, keypad, motion sensor, and the brains of the system. So that's all in that little dome thing you see right here in this little circle. It looks like a bowl with a cover and then you got this nest tag it's almost like a key fob but it doesn't have any button on it so you use it to arm and disarm the system without using a passcode and of course like i say it comes with an app so that's nest secure you know like i say it's a very basic system and it's not really one of my favorites but it does have monitoring so if you need that professional monitoring that's also included but you have no choice on this one you have to get it and it's part of the package if you're looking to do more you're not going to get much out of this system as you would out of another system so let's move on to UMA now UMA if you haven't heard of them they're that company that created that little box that you're looking at right here that hooks up to your internet and that will give you home phone service without actually going to the phone company they will actually give you home service through this box and it's a whole lot cheaper because I have this service that I'm using right now. So after they created the home phone service and they cornered that market, they decided to go with the security system. So now they offer a security system 
So basically what it seemed like they did was they took their phone service and tied into the security system because this system can call 911 even when you're not at home. Now some of the highlight features of Umer is the remote 911 system that you can have. Of course, no contract, easy to set up. The system automatic arm and disarm based on your GPS location from your phone. There's instant alert, so if there's something happen, it send you that notification and let you know. And it includes the phone service. So they combine the phone service that they offer now along with the alarm system all in one package. So that's the neat thing about UMA. You can get home phone service and security all in one box, which include unlimited nationwide calling, voicemail, caller ID, call waiting, and of course 911. So their system include two door slash window sensor, one motion sensor, and a camera. So you actually get a camera with this system. It's not something you buy separately, which is kind of different because everybody sells the camera separately, but Umer decided to put it in the package. I guess you got to do what you got to do in order to win one up on the competition because this market is getting very competitive. And these DIY security systems are professional grade. They're not some cheap system that you just buy and it doesn't work like it should. So that package is actually Umer's smart home security starter kit. They have another one called a starter package You get everything else except the camera. So with the system, you can also add more door sensors, motion sensor. This one has a smoke alarm you can add to the system and you can add more cameras. You can buy them in packs and then you got the garage door sensor. So there you go with one up on the competition. This system actually lets you know if the garage door is open or closed. Then they got the camera in black. You can also get an extra siren and it comes with a water sensor. So you're getting quite a lot out of this one. You know, you can add to it, you can build on it. And you really want to go into a system that you can build on if that's your intention. If you want something simpler and you don't plan on building on it over time, well, just go for the basic. So Umer is a good system to get if you're thinking about getting one of these systems. So that's Umer home security system. The win-win on this one is the fact that it comes with the phone service all built into one. So before I get to the one that I actually pick as my number one pick, I'm gonna go to the system that I bought first before I pick my number one pick. So this system is called Home 8. In the very beginning, this is the system that I picked out and I was using. I used it for about a two week period and then I decided it's not what I was looking for as far as security system. So I end up sending it back and I went shopping around and then I got another system, the current one I'm using now. So Home 8 is okay. You know, if you really want something simple and basic, it's not something I was looking for in my setup and that's the only reason why I don't have it still. So I'm not saying it was a bad product. So Home 8 basic security system comes with one security gateway. That's what's in the package. It comes with an RF dongle and this dongle is more like a range extender. It extends the range of the base station to the sensors. And it comes with two door slash window sensors. And finally, a keychain remote. You remember what I said? I was going to tell you something about these keychain remote. I'm going to let you know towards the end of this video, so don't go nowhere. So Home 8 also have a premium security system. Now the difference on the premium security system is you get one mini camera that you can install anywhere, but this is an indoor camera, so you can't install it outside. This is strictly indoor. It comes with one security gateway, and this is the 3.0 version, so it has a whole lot more features than the actual one in the basic package. It comes with two door slash window sensors, and it also comes with one infrared motion sensor and one keychain remote. So that's the two difference between those packages. You get more in one compared to the other. And Omade also comes with the plan that you can choose to have or not. Okay, so now let's get to the last system on my list. And it's made by a bulb. So this is the system I went with after I tried the Home 8 and realized that system just wasn't going to cut it for me. So the kit that I have is called the Smart Security Kit. So let's run down the features that comes in this Smart Security Kit. Of course, you're going to get the gateway, which is the control unit. This is the brains of the system right here. Then you get one motion. Then you're going to get one door sensor slash window. Then you're going to get one key fob. 
where you can arm and disarm the system. Now, when I got my system, I actually got two door slash window sensor and I got a motion sensor with a camera built in so it would take three pictures when the motion got tricked. And I got the key fob and the control unit. Then I started building on the system after that. So all of this came in my package. Additional door sensor came also. So over time they have actually built up the library. So now they have more door and window sensors for reset doors that you can buy the strips. There's a glass break sensor and there's also an acoustic glass break sensor. Now the difference between these two is this one actually attached to the glass itself. So if you have one of those back sliding doors or you got a glass front door or a window and you want to attach the sensor to it, you can do that. The acoustic one is the one that picks up the noise. So this will be a better one to get versus the vibration because the vibration only going to take one glass. So if you have it on the window and somebody breaks through the back glass, then it's not going to pick it up. The acoustic, it listens for the sound of glass breaking. So it doesn't matter which glass breaks into that room, whether it be a window or a back door or whatever, it's going to pick up the noise completely. So that's why you would want to get the acoustic glass sensor over the vibration. So it all depends on your setup. Like I say, you know, if the room that you're trying to protect only have one window, then you can go with the vibration. But if you're in a room that has several windows and a sliding glass door or a front door with glass, then you want to get the acoustic because it will cover that entire area. So as we stroll on down, you, as you can see, we can add cameras and motion sensors. Now, I personally didn't go with the camera system from above. I went with the different camera system and I'm going to go over that next. That's going to be my one more thing to add to this video. So it's up to you if you want to get the cameras or not. They're tied into the alarm system and they can actually record what goes on if the alarm gets triggered. But I do have this sensor right here. This is what came in my package when I originally got it. This is a motion sensor that has a camera built in right here. So the camera is actually built in. It's not a camera that's taking motion. It's just taking snapshots. That's all it's doing. While this is just a regular motion. And then with the system, you have the option to add more accessories to it. Like a keypad, key fob, water leak sensor, smoke alarm monitoring, indoor siren, outdoor siren. This system status indicator will tell you the state of the alarm if it's arm or disarm or whatever. Then you move down to the smart home added features of this system. So one of the things that it have is an occupancy sensor which detects movement or lack of movement, lights on or other smart actions. It all depends what you want it to do based on going into the app and set it up for that purpose. Then you have a home automated power switch just like everybody else have on the market. There's also a temperature and humidity sensor that would monitor the temperature and the humidity at a certain level. So the sensor talk back to the system and the system can tell Nest to either turn up the heat or turn up the air condition based on what it's reading. So that's the home automated features that's built into this thing. And that's why I'm saying this one is the most versatile system that you have out here. I've actually added the water sensor because my washer has leaked twice so far because of a faulty hose system that's in it. There's a video for that so you can watch it if you want to. But now I'll know if my washer is leaking or not. Now I did not go with the camera system that a bulb offer. Actually, I got my own camera system. So I decided to go with this because I wanted to have my camera system separated from the alarm system just for the sake of it. Now the Arlo Pro and the Arlo Pro 2, the difference between those is 1080p and 720p. But the cool thing about the base station that they talk to has a built-in alarm system. So the siren is going to sound off if it detect motion based on how you have it set up. The only disadvantage of just going with the camera system, even though it has an alarm built in and it will send you alert, is there's no door sensors to go along with it. Maybe Arlo will actually add that in later, but right now you cannot protect your door if somebody open it, even your windows. But if somebody walk past the camera, the alarm is going to sound off if you have it set up that way. So even though this can act like a security system, I would not go with this solely because you want your door and windows 
to be also have some type of protection on them in case somebody want to break into your place by coming through the window or prying the door open those will actually be set off instantly and the camera can catch them at the same time to see who it is okay so the final area i want to go over before i end this video is the payment plan so on ring you got a hundred dollars which is ten dollars a month for the protect plus plan and then you got the protect basic plan that's three dollars a month so you end up spending thirty dollars for the year or a hundred or you can go for the free service where you monitor it yourself now what do you get out of all of that well free you are pretty much on your own on the protect basic plan then you get one ring doorbell or a security camera you can either get either or you can't get both and also with the basic protect plan you get uh, to review share and save your ring videos with the protect plus plan you get to cover all your devices so all your cameras all your ring doorbells they're all covered so that's the difference between those plans and with the paid plans you can cancel at any time you're not locked into any contract so there's a difference between the basic and the plus the basic doesn't have professional monitoring so you get to view your cameras or your doorbell but you don't get to get that actual monitoring from the monitoring services if you want to get the monitoring services you'd have to pony up to the hundred dollars a year or ten dollars a month either or to get that professional monitoring so that's where it stands between these three plans that ring offer the only one you're going to get professional monitoring is this plus plan so now let's see what simply safe have to offer on the simple safe plan you get a standard and an interactive that's what they call their plans two plans that's all you got to choose from the standard you get professional monitor from your own so you also get that cellular connection that's how it talks to the monitoring company and then you get environmental monitoring so the environmental monitoring it actually includes where it detects fires it detects dangerous temperatures and it also warn against water damage now all of these are included with the standard plan but in order to use them you have to buy the required sensor so you'd have to get the smoke detector you'd have to get the temperature sensor and you also have to get the water sensor in order to take advantage of all these features okay so keep that in mind so the cost for that standard monitoring on the simpler safe plan is 50 cent a day which works out to about 15 dollars a month and then they're going to add one free month and that's no contract cancel any time the next plan that simpler safe offer is the interactive plan which is the old shebang kind of deal that one works out to like $24.90 a month but you get a whole lot more you get everything that you get in the standard plus you get to arm the system from anywhere using the app and you will get alert to your phones it also gives you secret alerts and those secret alerts include places that you don't want people to go into where they shouldn't belong so if your kids trying to sneak into a place that they're not supposed to be then that secret alert is going to let you know what's going on you also get video alarm verification so you know the camera is going to take a picture of the person you get unlimited camera recordings so you don't have to worry about running out of space or you are limited to a certain amount and you get smart home integration now those smart home integration include Amazon Echo, I'm not going to say the A word, the Nest, the August Lock, and your Apple Watch. So the Simple Safe can tell the Nest when you're home or away and go in those appropriate mode. You can tell the Amazon Echo to arm the system. You can also do things from your Apple Watch like arm or disarm the system from anywhere. And if you forget to lock the front door, then the system is going to tell the August Lock to lock the front door once you arm the system. So if you go with the standard monitoring, then you know you're just going to get the basic monitoring of the alarm system. But if you go with the interactive plan, then you're going to get all that other fancy features. The Nest is actually being monitored by a third party company called Brinks. Now you heard of Brinks, they do home security and all that stuff. Now the bad thing about the Nest system is in order to get the best price, you have to sign a three year agreement. That's what they call it, but might as well it's a three year contract because that's basically what it is. Or you can go month to month for like $30 a month. Mighty expensive. So it's not my favorite pick. You know, for the least amount of hardware you get and expandability is limited, then 
I wouldn't see myself going with this one either way. So that's basically it. I mean, there's nothing more I can say on this Nest system. It's pretty simple. It's a simple system. And you have to sign a three-year contract if you want the best deal. Okay, now let's move on to the UMA security system. Their plan include two things. So you got monitoring. Now the monitoring is something you do on your own. It's a free and it's always free. It's going to be free forever. But of course you don't get all the benefits you would if you get the paid plan. So the most you can get is push notification, which is fine. You know, it's good to at least know that somebody is trying to tamper with your home while you're away. You got custom modes you can put into it. There's home, away, night, vacation modes. You got a 90 day log, you know, every time the door open, every time the alarm is set and disarm, all of that's there. Tamper detection, motion notification, door open and close notification, real time sensor monitoring to let you know that, you know, a sensor is getting low on battery and you can put unlimited sensor. So there's no limit on this thing. And all of that is totally free. You get all of that out the box, not a dime spent on any monitoring. Now, if you decide to go with the secure plan on UMA, you're going to get a whole lot more. You're going to get location based switching. And that means whenever you go away from your house, the alarm is going to set itself. And then when you come back, it's going to disarm. You can schedule the mode switching so you can schedule it to go arm at a certain time and disarm at a certain time. You get SMS notification. You get phone call notification. You get email notification. You get remote 911. You get multiple users of the app. And finally, you get to choose your monthly payment. So the price for a basic phone customer is $4.99. If you're a premier phone customer, then you spend $3.99. If you want to go standalone and you don't want to go with the phone service, you just want to go with the alarm security system, then that price is only $5.99 a month. Pretty cheap. I mean, that's the cheapest plan you're going to be on on this whole system. So Umer, if you're trying to save some money, this is going to be your cheapest plan that you can find. So Umer is giving you a lot for that monthly price and they're not really skimping on it. You're getting a whole lot of features as you can see on this list. I mean, it's a whole lot more than a lot of other people are giving you based on what they're charging you a month. So if I was starting out and I was on a tight budget, I would definitely start off with the UMA secure system because that's the lowest you're going to pay on a monthly payment and it includes the phone service. So with the OM8, they have their service plan and it comes with two basic plans. You got a two tier plan, which include one owner and one authorized user. You get monitoring and streaming video service for four cameras, email notification to the owner with events snapshot. On the Premier plan, you get four tier. So you get a supervisory control, that's you, and then you get one owner, two authorized user, you get premium video collaboration of four cameras, and then you get to add unlimited emergency contacts. And that's $9.99 a month. This is another one of my least favorite, but to me, it's better than the Nest in a way. Kinda. I don't know. They're fine for the last position where I'm concerned. But I would definitely put these at the bottom of the pile, and they would be my last resort if I couldn't get anything else. So now let's move on to the abode plan. So if you go with the secure plan, which is professional monitoring and cellular backup from your home, that's $30 a month. Next, you can go with the connect plan that keeps the abode system online by cellular backup, even when the power goes off and your internet is out. And that's $10 a month. Or you can go with the basic plan where you do basically the monitoring and it's totally free. So when the system goes off, it's going to send a notification to you through the app to let you know that the alarm went off. And then you can decide if you want to call 911 or emergency services, or you can disarm the alarm remotely if you want to. Now in more details, those plans like the secure plan comes with a timeline of 90 days. The connect plan comes with a 14 day timeline and the basic plan come with a three day timeline. Now this timeline means it tells you when the door is open, doors closed, who set the alarm, who disarmed the alarm, stuff like that. So basically it's just status report. Then each plan come with what is called ultimate self monitoring from home app. 
So the cool thing about a bulb is there is an app for the phone, just like everybody else have an app for the phone, whether you got Android or Apple, but the bulb system took it up a notch by offering a web service. So you can disarm the alarm, you can set up automation, you can set up alerts, you can do all of that in the web app, just like you would do on the mobile phone, but the mobile phone is still limited to certain things you can do. And that's included with all of these three plans. There's no limit. These three plans also have an optional on-demand professional monitor. So you can do a three-day monitoring for eight bucks. That's like a weekend. You're going away for the weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, you can have them monitored for you. And they also offer a seven day monitoring plan for $15. So you're going away for a week on a weekend trip. You're going on a cruise or you're going out of the state, out of the country, then they can monitor it for you. And that costs 15 bucks. So I just want to touch on one more air for the bow system before I leave this. As you can see, like I said, this is the stuff that it works with. It works with the Google Assist, Yale, Amazon Echo devices, Key West, Nest. It works with Z-Wave appliances, U, First Alert, Echo B, Zigbee, LifeX, and Linear. So like I said, their Bose system is the one you want to get if you want to tie it into your home automation. Because like it says, it play well with others and it sure does. Finally, last but not least is the camera system. Like I mentioned, the Arlo system. Now, like I said, this is not fully an alarm system, even though the motion from the camera can trigger the alarm on the base based on if you have the pro or the pro 2 it doesn't work on the regular arlo system because that's just a regular up so this is going to be your best camera system as far as cloud storage because you get seven days free where you're not paying for anything you get seven days of recording free of charge if you want to get more than five cameras in your setup you'd have to upgrade to this plan right here this 9.99 a month because that one covers up to 10 cameras if you need more than 10 cameras then this one cover up to 20 cameras and that's $14.99 a month. This one right here is just a month to month thing for one camera. So there you have it. Those are the system that I picked out on this list that I wanted to cover. Of course, there are other systems out there, but these are the ones I wanted to cover in this video. Okay. So the last thing I want to mention in this video is about the key fob. The key fob is not a good thing. Even though it seems like a convenient thing, it's a weakness in your alarm system because anybody can press the disarm button. There's nothing there security wise to prevent anybody from just hitting arm and disarm. So you don't really want that key fob outside the house because if you lose it and somebody know where you live, they can easily just disarm your alarm, pick the door lock and go straight in. So my above system came with a key fob to arm and disarm the alarm outside the house. But then I decided one day I'm not going to take it out because it's a weak link in my security chain. And if I'm trying to keep myself protected, if I lose my key, somebody know where I live, all I have to do is press the button and they're in. If you get any one of these systems with a key remote or a key fob, do not take it outside the house with you. Leave it inside. So keep that in mind if you buy any one of these systems with that key fob remote. That's my IT guy security tip. Okay, so I want to thank you for taking the time for watching this video. I know it was long and extensive, but I just wanted to go detail and step by step and break down these systems so you'll know which one would be right for you. Okay, I want to thank you for taking the time for watching this video. I know it's long, but I had to go into details and explain each one of these systems and break them down, show you how much it costs to monitor these systems and tell you all the features of them. So that's why this video is so long and I knew it was a lot of alarm system I want to go to. I wanted to give it the one that I picked that I think is the best, which one works with the home automation, which one gives you additional feature and what not to do with that key fob in case you get one with the key fob, why you should mix the camera system with an alarm system for that extra security. So I hope you enjoyed the details information and I hope it's helpful to you. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, share it, leave comments, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Have a good one.